today on The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. We're going to get a look at the latest update for Topaz Photo AI. This is update version 3.0.3, .3, now with a light interface or a dark interface. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Cully. We're getting a look at the latest update for Topaz Photo AI. Now they've added a new light interface that goes along with the dark interface, so now you have a choice on your interfaces, whichever you prefer. This is not a huge update. There's some changes here. I'm just going to go over a couple things. This is going to be a short video today, not a really in-depth video, but I just want to show you a couple of the new key features in this update. By the way, if you don't yet own Topaz Photo AI or any of the Topaz products, I'll have links in the description below. They're my affiliate links. When you use those links, I make a small commission, and this helps support my channel. By the way, I believe there's a sell on at this point for uh, Topaz Gigapixel AI. I think you can save some money there, so you may want to check that out. But use my links. I'd really appreciate it. The first thing I want to show you is now when you're working with Lightroom Classic and you have a DNG file, they will ask you, do you want to make a copy of that DNG file? Now, if you're working with a raw file, that was not a problem because when you sent your raw file into Topaz Photo AI, when it came back, it came back as a DNG file and your raw file was still intact. However, if you had a DNG file to begin with, it would just write over that DNG file and you would lose your original raw file. But now they give you a choice to make a copy so you don't lose your original raw file, which is a good feature, and I'm glad they added this. This was in previous editions of Photo AI, but they brought it back. By the way, on the previous update, they added the ability to work from collections in Lightroom, which is the way I like to work. Right now, I'm in this collection called Photo AI Test, and I have this one raw DNG file in here. So what this means, I can send this into Topaz Photo AI. It'll come back. It'll go in the original folder as well as come into this collection. So that's a nice new feature, but that was from the last update. When you're working out of Lightroom Classic, what you do is you come up to File in Lightroom and you come down and find Plugin Extras. And then what you want to do is click on Process with Topaz Photo AI. And now this is new. You'll notice it says edit a copy or overwrite selected files. And I would choose edit a copy. If you choose overwrite selected, it will overwrite your original raw file, which most of us don't want. So I'll click edit a copy and that'll launch Topaz Photo AI. Now here we are inside of Topaz Photo AI. Autopilot has already ran. It's given me raw denoise and sharpening. You know what? In this case, I don't think I want the sharpening. Now you have choices here. I'm just going to click X on sharpen. And next I'll click on raw denoise and I will bump up the minor D blur to somewhere. I'm going to try here around 67. And that gives me the sharpening I want. I just want some basic sharpening on this image. So that's all I want to do here. And I may bump up my strength on my denoise just a little bit. And I think that will be good. Now, another change for this new update, Topaz are stating they've updated the default strength settings for raw denoise, normal and strong, uh, to give you more consistent and improved results when autopilot runs. You know, I can't say for sure if I'm seeing much difference here, but let me know in the comment section below if you're noticing any differences or improvements there. By the way, if you want to see all the changes and fixes in this new update, just come up to the help menu, click on help, click on release notes. Your file browser will open if it's not already open. And then just click on Topaz Photo AI version 3.0.3. .3. And here you can read all about all the different changes and fixes inside of Topaz Photo AI. I just thought I'd point that out. Now you'll notice I'm using the dark interface for Topaz Photo AI. If you come up here and click on Topaz Photo AI, go to preferences. And then under general, just click on general and you'll see we have color scheme. Right now I'm on dark, but you could click this drop down and change this to system color scheme or dark or light. I'll click on light and click apply. And now you can see I have a light interface. I don't really like the light interface, but it's there if you like it. It's there for you. I'm just going to come back and click on Topaz Photo AI, go to preferences and under color scheme, I'm going to click the drop down and click dark. 
click apply, and now I'm back to the dark interface. So that's new. Let me know if you think that's something you would enjoy using or not. For me, it's I was happy with it the way it was. And now I'm ready to send this back to Lightroom. So I'll just come down to the bottom right side of the interface and click on export to Lightroom Classic and it'll go ahead and export this. And it's really quick. I'm going to leave this in real time for you. So it's still processing. And now we're back in Lightroom and you can see it's importing files at their current location. And I am in my collection and here is my result. This is my original and I'll click on Topaz Photo AI. So here's my Topaz Photo AI result. And I'll go ahead and zoom in so you can see I'm zoomed in at 200%. I have nice sharpening here. And again, I just use the minor de-blur inside of denoise. And a lot of times if your image is sharp, that's all you really need. And as you can see, the noise reduction looks great. And now I'll compare it to the original image. You can see the noise in there and what the sharpness looks like. And now here is the Photo AI version. So there you have it. That is the new update for uh, Topaz Photo AI. You know, like I said, not a big update, but I think... The ability to not destroy your original D and G file is a big improvement. So I really appreciate that. For me, that's the biggest thing here. And of course, you have the light interface if you like it. And of course, they've improved the default denoise, which should give you improved results when you're running autopilot. Well, there it is, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this first look at the latest update for Topaz Photo AI version 3.0.0. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe. Click that bell notification icon. Click all so that you'll receive all notifications. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. And I will see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.